Hi, welcome to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, the Target Individual Experience. So the time it is around 2.18 a.m. in the morning, on a Monday morning, um, well, it's still over here by Pam. Uh, you know, it's, <laughs> let me explain to you guys what they do, okay? In terms of how they try to manipulate situation where I ha where I find myself staying over here, you know? So like I said, most times now I leave because I leave because I want to leave, not because I'm paying attention to them trying to manipulate me into staying what have you. Uh, but tonight, uh, actually last night, Sunday, when I came over here Sunday, yesterday, um, you know, Pam was supposed to go to grocery shopping, but she didn't, uh, you know, she wanted want me to come over early. When I got here, she didn't go, right? So she was supposed to be cooking so at seven o'clock is when she decides she's going to go out to the grocery store to start to cook so she didn't finish cooking until after 10 o'clock right and i always tell her, i said you know this is it's this is a problem that i keep telling you that, that that you do you know when on the weekend if the kids you know if i even i'm here or not on the weekend if she has to cook she cooks late right i'm talking about after nine o'clock on the Sunday night, you're cooking. This is when you start cooking eight o'clock, what have you, nine o'clock at night. So, anyway, so I was just here with the kids, and then it started pouring, it started really, really pouring. So, by the time she finished uh, cooking, it was like after 10 o'clock, like literally after 10, right? So, plus it was raining, so I said, okay, you know what, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll spend the night. But earlier on, during all of that, now, uh, you know, they were using the police siren again to try to intimidate me to not leave and all that such and such. And I'm like, I was just paying no attention. I'm just like, look, it's raining. You know, I'm not going anywhere. If it wasn't raining, and like I said, she didn't have to go out this late. But again, it's purpose. They plan it. So that way I have to stay. Okay, well, not that I have to stay, but a situation where, you know, yeah, I can say I have to stay. Because again, it was it was pouring. She went out late. Then constantly, you hear the, 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 the car honking. It is constant, the surveillance, okay? I'm washing dishes. I, I pick up something, anything, anything that, that's the color green. Uh, you know, washing cups, right? Picking it up, eating, drinking, drinking, you know. Sirens, eating out of a bowl, okay? Eating out of a bowl, green bowl, sirens. Everything that I touch that's the color green, sirens. Then on top of that, watching videos, watching movies, what have you certain words again uh like one minute one minute right i don't know what's the hell what is that one minute sirens every time one minute is said right one minute also um rob robert uh um you know because rob um, sounds like robbery you know it's time to say oh we're gonna uh, rob you of your um, your disability, rob you of your life, rob you of any sort of uh, income, rob you of any sort of business that you may want to open. They've been doing this shit for years. So it's like, you know, but this is coming full circle again. And you just heard the sirens, right? Low whoop. Then on top of that, trying to use Pam again to target me. She was, um, came in, you know, when I came in today, uh, she was, you know, like all running away from me trying to like size up when I walk past her the same shit over and over again then after about a half an hour of just calmness no sirens uh was not I, I wouldn't say I would say no sirens right but still the car honking then all of a sudden she starts acting she stopped acting that way right so all of a sudden now when she walked past me what she's doing she's sticking out her elbow out. then <laughs> got the kids doing the same thing too remote um silent sound my daughter, I'm helping her with her homework. She's sticking her elbow into me. You know, Pam's doing the same thing. And I'm just like, you know, but I guess, they, you know, this is the reason why they, when this, they started to manipulate them to target me like that, they'll start using the police sirens. Like you hear a lot of police sirens, right? And like I said, also, you know, um, certain colors, the color green police sirens, you know what I'm saying? Every other thing is car honking for the most part, car honking, right? And, you know, like I said, just analyzing and figuring out exactly what's going on. So I figure it's the FBI who is using 
the uh, microwave, radio wave frequency weapons, mind control weapons. This is, and, and I associate them with the car honking, right? Try to play good guy, bad guy type of thing. The cops also have access to the um, computer, right? In which the uh, artificial, the AI is again decoding, you know, what it is I'm thinking because the remote will monitoring or what is being transmitted to me, okay? Because the stuff happens instantaneously or almost instantaneously, right? And again, it, it has to be computer AI driven, you know, again, to, to decode the neurons within the, within the brain that decodes the signal that the neurons fire off, which again, will get, tell them exactly what is I'm thinking, what I'm looking at, what I'm feeling, what I'm touching, what have you. So again, it is constantly pervasive. So I gotta go take a, um, one of my headache medicine because again, when it's this pervasive, even though it's very, even though it's very subtle, what it is that they're doing, it's still the frequency, right? And the repetition, it is extreme and constant, right? So it still affects me, okay? And like I said, the last time I had the headache, it was so bad. Again, it was one of the worst I've ever had. And I'm not, you know, waiting until that happens uh, for it to begin. Then another thing also, um, you know, I usually go to a Walgreen on my way over here or home or what have you. So they, again, uh, I have enough medication to last for another month, but I'm going to call in and uh, have them fill out uh, my prescriptions because Again, and I've, uh, I've noticed this, that when they target me, particularly they're going to get my medication, sending me subliminal message about being arrested, being shot, and all that stuff, it takes subconsciously, it takes a hold of your, of your the subliminal message in your subconscious mind. And I find myself not going into walk, not I haven't been to Walgreens all month, okay? On top of that, they haven't really, they called me once about a prescription that was, um, that was uh, approved right so i don't know what um description that is but i gotta go and get some refills so this is the kind of, this is again they've been very particularly since i've been here and, and home you know when i was home yesterday it was the same thing uh here come over here and it's 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 the same thing except they're using her and like i said uh, the one thing they've been using regularly now is the elbow. You know, my kids, you know, when my daughter, she's like sticking her elbow out at me. Pam, whenever I walk past her, she's sticking her elbow out at me. You know, they're always doing these things. They're either they're looking on top of my head, but okay, tomorrow's going to be, <laughs> today's going to be a new day. So if she starts doing that, I'm going to do the same thing back too. Um, so this is, again, you know, me just observing what it is they're doing, the type of subliminal message that, that they're sending. And so apparently, now, if they try to make it say like, okay, if I sleep over here, then, um, and the fact that I'm, you know, have have to put up with the the stuff that I'm putting up with here, you know, like again, like it doesn't affect you, it it does. Like I said, these people, they don't want to accept responsibility, and because they make the rules, they can change it whenever they want, which they always do. They will always change the the rules and the the situation to benefit themselves and to avoid accountability, right? So this is what they do. Also, uh, le the letter, any, any word that begins with the letter J, the letter C, the letter D, uh, the letter E, okay, uh, letter B. And for the most part, I know it is because the brainwashing, the things that they put into my subconscious mind. So I have to constantly, constantly change whatever negative connotations that come with with words begin with those letters into positive kind of you know to positive words so something that i'm constantly doing man and it's like sometimes it gets mentally exhausting okay and they know this they know this but again people keep falling for their lies and the, the and their deception and what it has done this caused us ti's to really you know, a lot of us are suffering in silence, right? Because of the fear they might take away our disability, the fear of they might arrest us or whatever for speaking out uh, about what it is that's being done. For me, I say let them. Let them. Okay, because at that point, I know the remote no monitoring will have to end. Okay, the targeting will have to end. But they don't want that to happen. So this is why they do constantly do these things to you. 
uh, to us as TIs. Okay, this is a program, and they manipulated to deceive people, to deceive us, and manipulated us, and to keep us in a perpetual uh, uh, state of surveillance, state of uh, because to hide the fact that we we are microchip, right? And when we again expose it to try to take away everything away from us, okay? Like for example, when I get headaches, I started uh, yelling in pain, police sirens. Why are they using police sirens whenever I, I get headaches and it hurts and I have to yell out in pain? Why? Because again, it's an intimidation tactic. It is to get you to become silent about your pain because they want you to suffer and be uh, have painful headaches in silent and you not say anything, right? Why? Because they know what they're doing to you is torture. They know that and because they don't want to accept what it is that they're doing, okay, they figure, well, we're just going to shut them up by intimidating them, by threatening them, psychologically threatening them so that they can be silenced. I understand the wickedness, the evil mindset and personality that these individuals have, okay? And like I said, I will never stop exposing these individuals. I don't care what happens to me. And obviously, they still don't get it because they're still trying to shut me up. They'll use Pam. They'll they'll send me some they'll send me some subliminal message about you know um, what about her? I, I, like, listen, I don't care. I keep saying I don't care. But when you're bombarded with these types of messages every day, it does affect you. And for for the most part, I try not to let it get to me. But they, what I've noticed also because they don't want to accept a, a responsibility to be held accountable. They will use the people around you to set you up. So you got to be very careful as TIs, okay? Because they will try to manipulate situation or to in, entice you and induce you into certain situations and then try to uh, set you up. So you always got to be aware of that. And like I said, with this technology, how they can uh, co-op or hijack a person's conscious mind, you know, you, 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 it's like you never know. And, and it, this is including your mind also. So, you know, we always got to be self-aware uh, and be cautious, okay, about what's going on around us, okay? And so, you know, we try to get some sleep. Uh, it is, you know, like I said, after 2 a.m. In, 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 in the morning, and, you know, this stuff is like, it really, you know, it, it gets to me. And, and I'm glad that I can do these videos because, not only has it allowed me to vent, but it allows me to expose what's going on. And because they've taken away avenues in which I can I can get therapy because every therapist that I contact, you know, either they don't accept my insurance or we can't work because of certain things that I just not going to put up with or tolerate in terms of targeting. Like I tell them, I said, look, if I'm if you're doing if if we if I'm you know if you're my therapist. You gotta watch no sticking your hands up your nose, no tugging on your ears. If you're if you're a, a, a woman, no constantly having your hand in your hair, all that sort of stuff, you know. And don't bring religion into my therapy, okay? But thank you for them. I can speak about you know <laughs> religion and because you know, but when it comes to like them trying to push that Christianity bullshit on me, no. Okay, because they're the therapist, right? I'm the patient. So, but they, what they have done, is, like I said, is they have cut off that those avenues uh, so that I can get therapy. And another reason also because they don't want me to document or have it documented professionally, right? By by a therapist, right? They don't want any documentations. This is how they hide what it is that they're doing. Same thing. How they don't want you to get you to go to the doctor. They'll keep threatening me or looking uh, in the direction that I go to to the doctor, right? you know so what can i say right again when you're bombarded with this stuff it takes a uh, uh, a lot to just you know have to just calm your mind down because you know for me i have my defense mechanism that i do internally when they start sending me discipline on a message and stuff like that so you know it is what it is but like i said i'm not resting this is uh you know, one of my purpose is to expose it. And they brought this on themselves, okay? By targeting us, by 
experimenting on us non-consensually, and then want to threaten us if we come forward. I mean, what do you think? Every TI is just going to be afraid and shut up and do it? No, no. Okay, now you can say, well, we bought this, this bought this, we bought this and our stuff. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Is this what you're going to tell the folks who were poisoned with lead, the children, the adults in Michigan? Is this what you 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 tell the hundreds of thousands of children who are now adults, right? Who were poisoned with lead? They brought this on themselves. Come on, you know America. I'm telling you, these white supremacists. They have a funny way of trying to make the victims of their crimes be responsible, right? <laughs> instead of them, instead of holding them responsible, they want us to 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 be held responsible by ourselves, right? Oh. Well, I no, you did it. These white supremacists on the police force, the military, you know, whatever uh, industry, they did it. Okay, so yeah, I'll accept accountability for certain things, but if I don't know what's going on, for example, when I was poisoned, I bought that on myself. So the people that poisoned me, they're not responsible for poisoning me. Come on, see, like I said, as TIs. I can't wait for the day when we, we get our justice, okay? And like I said, I hope that we're still around when it does happen, okay? Because America has a history of doing this to, to particularly people of color, black people in particular, okay? So anyhow, I will speak to you guys in the next video.